This video is going to be about the things that I'm using for my home assistant, my Halloween decorations. You saw the video. I have some GE outdoor Z-Wave outlets. That's what I'm using for like the skeleton, the pumpkin, some of the lights. It allows me to connect so the, the well actually let me, let me take a step back. So GE outlets are connected via Z-Wave to my Wink Hub. They're just connected to the Wink Hub. The Wink Hub is connected to my HA and through through Z-Wave now my HA can basically it can just uh, it can control all those outdoor outlets. So what does that give me? That gives me the ability to turn on all those lights outside based on the sunset and sunrise. So sunrise, sunset, I can turn things on, turn things off. I also am using those same GE outlets with my landscape lights. Let's go take a look at that actually. So this is the landscape lighting. Right next to it is the transformer and next to that is the GE outdoor light or outdoor outlet and it's connected to the outlet. We have a bunch of controls in here, but we just disabled them. So we have it set to just on. So basically GE, the GE outlet turns it on and HA has all the smarts. Um, HA was a lot smarter than this old transformer. The, the old transformer basically just used this light sensor up here for uh, on and off. Having Home Assistant do all the intelligent stuff is just a lot better. Let's give you a quick sneak preview of the security cameras that's gonna come in a, a next, uh, another video. So we have them set up here. You can, well, zoom in, let's see. So you can see we have our cameras set up. These are wireless outdoor cameras uh, that are hitting basically all the fence lines and indoor and outdoor. So we can keep an eye on the property from within HA and get alerts. You can connect the GE outlets to it and then use Home Assistant to turn the things on and off and then have all of the low voltage wirings. We have the regular low voltage lights here uh, controlled by Home Assistant, which is super awesome for turning things on and off. So here's the other transformer that I have for the house. Um, same thing, I have that GE uh, outlet back here. It's connected in. And this was this is what controls the the landscape lighting. So same thing, we'll give you another sneak preview. We have another camera all set up. So this will be another another video, but we're gonna show how we set up all these cameras around the house and then how we show them in HA. That's what I'm using. That's one of the that's one of the things that I'm using for my Halloween is these outlets to really just let home assistant control when they come on, when they come off. Another thing you may have seen in the video is the lights, the, the colored lights, which were hue lights. Hue lights in the sconce lights, and then hue lights above my foyer, so right outside the door. It's really an indoor bulb, but we have it outside. So that allows us to control all the lighting in the front of the house. We actually have seven individual elements all together outside. We have the doorbell, which we can change colors. We have the uh, the hue light up above the door. We have three sconce lights, and then we have three do-it-yourself LED strips. I have links below that show you how I built those do-it-yourself uh, light strips. And these light strips are also controlled via Home Assistant. So with those seven elements, I can kind of change the way the house looks based on a holiday schedule. So when I get back in the house, we'll dive into the computer and I'll show you the holiday schedule YAML or package that I have that I use to control the different lights. The GE, we have the GE outlets to control the landscape lighting. We have the colored lights, both do-it-yourself and hue lights that are out there. And then the last thing I'm using for Halloween is inside and in the windows, which is 433 megahertz RF radio frequency outlets. They work with uh, my Broadcom, the, the Broadcom RM and they're tied into Home Assistant and they control outlets within the house. We have some lights around our mirror, we have some lights around the door, and then we have normal window decorations. We would have these for Halloween, for Valentine's Day, for Christmas, just basic holiday lighting that you'd put in the front of, uh, the, front of the window. And same thing, I'm able to use Home Assistant to control when these lights go on and off. It's 
very handy. I'll show you those schedules as well. That's a tour of the outside. I just wanted to show you the, the landscape lighting basically and how I'm, con how I'm using those GE outlets to control that. Um, I use them for other things too. Let me, let me show you this little thing. So I also have this other thing here. So here's another GE light. We have this little light that I have connected to the wall. It's called our, our blue, our blue light. There we go. So you can see back there, we have another outlet. We have that GE outlet, and then it's connected to this little, sort of like a disco ball that uh, just splashes some blue light just for a cool little atmosphere. Change the, the mood back here. So that's how I'm using those GE outlets. They're super cool. All right, let's jump inside. Let's look at the computer and I'll show you some of the YAML. Okay, so I'm back in the house. Let's just take a look at some of these scripts that I'm using. So let's go over to my GitHub. I have all the scripts on my GitHub. So if you wanna download my public GitHub, we're gonna shoot over here. We're gonna go over to devices. We're gonna to go to landscaping. So the first one that we're using is the script that turns on the Z-Wave power outlets. It turns on at sunrise. So we're gonna to go to our sunrise script. So this script has one just basic trigger. We look for, we track the sun when the sun goes below the horizon from above. So once it sunsets, then we're gonna just send a little tweet out saying, hey, we're turning on the lights for sunset. We're going to announce in the house that it's dark out. We're gonna to check to see if there's any windows open or doors, if there are, we're gonna announce that so that we can close them. And then we're going to switch on our front landscaping. The front landscaping lights turn on. That's where the Halloween decorations are. Um, so this way it'll illuminate it at night. And then the next thing we're gonna roll into is our monthly color scheme. So this monthly script will look at the day or the holiday and then launch a particular scene. So let's shoot back here. And we're gonna go down to the landscaping part, the LED part. So these are all the parts for those LED strips that I have uh, in the house. So there's a blog post here. There's a blog post in the description as well. And you can uh, check that out. But what we're concerned with is this script. So we're gonna shoot over to the script. This script is super straightforward. We're just, it's getting called from that sunset. We're doing a quick condition just to make sure it is uh, sundown. And then we're going to look at which scene to watch. The automation launches the script. The script that, well, yeah, the automation launches the script and then the script looks at the scenes to see what we should set everything to. And then this scene file is really straightforward. It's a, it's a template and we're just using these numbers to uh, represent the date. So this is January 1st, February 10th, February 14th. And if we scroll down to Halloween, we're gonna say, okay, if the date is October 1st, between October 1st or October 31st, we're gonna return a value of Halloween. And then once we return a value of Halloween, we're then gonna go over to the scene file, which will go right here. This is all linked in the GitHub. We're gonna to go to the scene file and then we're gonna launch that Halloween. Scene files are great because scene files, you can put all of the uh, elements. In this case, we have nine and you can put what brightness and what color you want for all these elements and just launch it once and it's reusable. It's very easy to manage. Star Wars, we have all the different holidays that we're using. And here's our Halloween colors. So we launch Halloween, we have the foyer, the, this is the uh, doorbell and then, uh, and then all the sconces and our outdoor strips. So basically this launches, that will uh, color up the house the way we like it for the holiday. And then when we roll back, we'll go back to that main script that we run, that sunset script. And we can see the last piece, we've triggered it. We've done a little tweeting. We've launched, uh, we've turned on our uh, front landscaping. And then if we're home, we're checking to see if we're home. If we're home, we're then gonna launch all the, we're gonna turn on all the switches. These are the 433 megahertz switches. And this will turn on the window lights, this will turn on the, in, the indoor lights uh, that we have throughout the house for decoration and for mood. And these, these all get turned off. They all get turned on and then they all get turned off when we go to bed. So once we get into bed, another script is run and then it turns everything off in the house uh, for bed. So that's pretty cool. 
The only other thing, we'll just jump right back up here. Now we're gonna go to switches. And here's some links to these E-Tech City outlets. These are the 433 megahertz switches that I'm using. So you can check that out. Uh, I'll put some links in the, in the description as well. And then you can check that out on the GitHub. But that's the way we run, that's the way I use some of the automation pieces for Halloween. I'm curious, uh, leave in the comments how you're using Home Assistant to level up your Halloween display or your, or your holiday lights in general. There's a lot of good videos out there uh, on how to create some really, really cool LED strips for holiday lighting. Dr. Z, uh, Rob over at The Hookup. They've all made some really good videos, so be sure to check those out. And I'll see you next week. Bye. What I did was a lot of the Halloween decorations that don't have lights um, and look nice during the day, since I paired them with landscape lighting at night, we can see them. So the landscape lighting actually lights up a lot of the, the Halloween direct, uh, decorations in the front of the house. And then because HA is leveraging when those lights come on and off, we can do a lot of cool things with it.